All right, thanks for joining us on this Friday, and I hope that your loved ones are at their destination. We still have tricky travel, though. If you do have travelers, we're going to get you caught up with the latest. Your first alert weather day does continue, and tonight's risks include that wind, which is causing, well, dangerous cold, and it's keeping roads icy, and we still have areas of blizzard concerns. That's eastern South Dakota into southern Minnesota, where the blizzard warning continues into the morning hours. Notice it tracks just south of Interstate 94, heading into the evening road reports there showing normal conditions or what's typical for this time of the year, but that's certainly some icy spots. We turn our attention to the wind chill out to the west in central North Dakota, 45 to 55 below, and in Minnesota, we'll see some wind chills approaching 35 to 45 degrees below zero as well. A quick look around the area, Sisseton I-29 there, it's uh, quieting down a little bit. Same thing here in the FM area, protected from some of the gustiest of the winds, but still no fun. Pillow drifts on the roads out of Binford and look at that a few flakes flying and these are lofted flakes because our system today, our blizzard did not come with any new additional snow. So for your Christmas Eve, here's what you Rudolph and Santa need to be aware of. We do have life threatening cold, but Santa and Rudolph, hey, they're used to it. You know, a little Vaseline on Rudolph's nose. He's good to go even through gusty winds to 35 miles per hour. But for us road travelers, it's going to remain icy on area roads for your Christmas Eve. No new snow and most of the wind will be in southern Minnesota. Christmas Day, another shot of snow straight out of Calgary. And there could be some accumulation. We'll go over that in a moment. It looks chilly on Monday, but we're going in the right direction. And there's a golden disc in the forecast. And I'm pretty sure that's some sunshine. All right, let's talk about your winds gusting there in the northern arrowhead of Minnesota. As we look down into southern Minnesota where the deep snow is and where the roads are closed, we have winds gusting over 40 miles per hour. That's where the visibilities are the toughest, but we're starting to see some improved visibility here in North Dakota, and that's allowing our road crews to get after it and help get those roads cleared up for travelers across the Peace Garden State nine below feels like 32 below out at Hector. If you happen to be standing out there on the runway, it does look like six below in Grand Forks. 32 below is what it feels like. Those winds gusting to 24 miles per hour. We're sharing our deep cold right here. These are air temperatures. Look at the 20s below in Regina, and that air is heading our way as we go through the overnight. But the freezing line diving all the way into the Gulf of Mexico, 28 in New Orleans right now. Unbelievably cold this morning, I should say. Tw a seven this morning in Atlanta, Georgia, so much of the nation's midsection and south nope, suffering from what looks like a little chilly to us, but for them, well, that's life threatening cold. It's 14 below in Dickinson, 16 below in Hedinger, 15 below Devil's Lake, and 12 below in Thief River Falls. Factor in those winds, and the wind chills are 35 to 40 below already, and temperatures and winds will be persistent. There's snow showers, the storm system stalled over the Great Lakes, and it's going to continue to impact our area with gusty northwest winds. Santa's forecast looks like this. As we head into the morning hours, we're going to have wind chills 35 to 45, and some could see as cold as 55 below in the Devil's Lake Basin. Gustiest winds in yellow, upwards of 40 miles per hour. Those will be confined into Minnesota and the Southern Valley. That's where the travel will remain the trickiest, and we will have gusts in the areas of Green Arrows over 30 miles per hour. Temperatures as we go through the afternoon peak, and we're still below zero for the entirety of the day. Wind chills 25 to 35 below, even with sunshine. Then heading into the nighttime hours, temperatures really start diving behind Hutch here, and that means Santa and Rudolph need to prepare for that cold. Now, as they make their work, and they do short work of all of that, here comes our Christmas Day Clipper. By the morning, it's moving into the James and Cheyenne River Valleys, and it comes with wind, too. So it will make for tricky travel, particularly from the midday hour on, wind and snow d diving south. So our northernmost counties will have the lowest impacts, but the snowfall could be fairly significant in a few places. One to five inches, we'll call it, with the best chance of a few spots that get upwards of that upper end in central North Dakota. That's New Rockford, Carrington, Woodworth in Stutzman County. Temperatures peak at five below, but the wind will be pretty ridiculous throughout today, gusting to 35, making it feel pretty chilly. Oh, in awe of what we saw in all your pictures today. What a gorgeous shot, Paul. Thanks so much. Sun dogs barking in a blizzard and a halo too. Planning forecast, Sunday cold for your Christmas day, first thing in the morning. Then the clipper snow makes its way through the region. Remember that 
You can get the latest on your road reports right on the Valley News Live weather app. And of course, on Monday, things look to improve. That golden disc I've confirmed is going to be some sunshine replaced by fog and warmer temperatures. Um, did I mention warmer temperatures? I, I, I think going from temperatures as low as 20 below there on Sunday morning to 32 above, that's a 52 degree warm up there in pretty short order. I'll take it. That's a Christmas gift in itself. It is. It's yeah. the gift that keeps something. Well, we hope it. <laughs>